Okay. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me that the first law of the universe is motion. After motion, the next law is order. Whatever you put into motion, you have a responsibility to bring it into order. And you cannot bring it into order except there is a law imposed on that which is in motion. Now, brothers and sisters, this world is in motion. But you can see that the world is out of order. And therefore, chaos is everywhere in the world under the rule of the present rulers. And they cannot bring any more order or compliance to their way because their way is contrary to the way of peace and the way of God. So now rebellion is breaking out all over the earth. Listen, just listen. Jesus prophesied war and rumors of war. Hmm? Nation rising against nation kingdom against kingdom why because when God intends to bring about an end to an evil system then he inspires revolt against the evil so now nobody can bring order there's not order in the home there's not order in the school there's no order in the church therefore there's no order in the society there's no order anywhere. People are becoming very filled with the spirit of anarchy. If you will accept the job, there's lawlessness out there. There's madness out there. We just happen to look sane right now. Because <laughs> you're in here sitting down under some sane teaching you look sane but when it's over more than likely unless you're serious you'll go back to the insane activity that's bringing about the death of the family the destruction of marriage the killing of the unborn the abuse of women the abuse of children, the disrespect of law, the disrespect of self, and there's no consideration for life. We seem to be bent in the worship of death. So if you would be willing to be a deputy tonight, I would like to deputize each one of you as deputies of God yes, sir. to start with yourself and start the killing first of you then you gotta stop it in your families then you gotta stop it in the community then we can stop it in the nation. Then we can stop it in the world. But it starts with you and me. What a wonderful subject. Stop the killing. Now, brothers and sisters, if you will bear with me for the next few minutes, I would really like to show how division is a part of death and any time we work to divide us from one another and divide members of the human family with artificial machinations that bring about hatred 
of one member of the family for another, we are contributing to the death of the spirit of the human being. Listen. We think as Christians and as Muslims and as Jews or Hindus or Buddhists or believers in Zoroaster or Shinto or Tao that we are of course believers in God and we're on the right path. Many of us who are Christians and Muslims, if I asked you, are you on the right path? Are you contributing to the killing? Every one of you that are Christians who are serious about your Christianity, you will say, no, no, not me. I ain't in that. But you sure are. You just don't know it. Anytime you divide the people of God from God, you are precipitating the motion of death. Listen, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. How many of you in this audience are Baptists? Raise your hand. Ray, come on, don't be bashful. Come on. Thank you. How many are Methodists? Raise your hand. How many AME? CME? How many Church of God in Christ? Come on, come on. How many Jehovah's Witness? Thank you. How many Muslims? How many Sunni? How many Sufi? How many Shiite? How many Democrats? How many Republicans? How many Independents? Come on, come on, come on, come on. How many Alphas? How many Omegas? How many Kappas? How many Deltas? How many Sigmas, how many AKAs, oh, how many Masons, how many Shriners, how many Odd Fellows, how many Lions, how many in the Rotary Club, how many Eastern Stars, how many with a BS degree, how many with an M.A. degree? How many with a Ph.D. degree? How many with no degree? How many from Georgia? How many from Louisiana? How many from Mississippi? How many from New York? How many from Virginia? How many from California? Oh, well, all right then. But if all these things make a difference to you, how many of you teasing time? How many call yourself Sweet Georgia Brown? How many white folks in the house? How many black folks in the house? How many Hispanics in the house? How many Asians in the house? Uh-huh. What have I been doing? How many got kinky hair? How many got straight hair? How many got thin lips? How many got thick lips? Hello. What have I been doing? What have I been doing? I've been showing you how you're contributing to the process of death by raising your differences to the point where they make us think we are either better than or less than or more than or should be more privileged too. 
is all dead. Paul said, is Christ divided? Come on. If Christ is not divided, then how are Christians divided in Christ's name? Come on, come on, let's talk now. 